Hey guys, let's uh, wrap up the little mini-series here on the voltage dividers by looking at the line dropping resistor that I placed in the little Crosley. Not an ideal situation reducing uh, the voltage this way. Much uh, heat is generated. In particular, I'm limited on the room itself underneath the chassis. I may look for a better solution later on but for now this is tacked in. Let me show you guys the math that I used. If you refer to the schematic that I'm showing here in the side-by-side, uh, -side, you can see uh, back in the day, 240 volts uh, DC was the uh, reference voltage at 117 volts uh, ACN. Let me uh, turn on the Variac and we'll bring this up. And I'm looking at my B plus. Let's just uh, shoot for 240, then we'll measure the AC line input voltage and also the current itself at that point, and then we'll just quickly do the calculations for the dropping resistor. You guys can see the B plus voltage ramping up as I increase the uh, line input voltage using the Variac. You can see things have stabilized here at about 240, 241 volts. DC on the B plus. Let me uh, pop over here and look at the kilowatt meter that I'm using. I'll do a screenshot of that for reference to show you guys the voltage on the uh, line input as well as the current consumption of the receiver at this particular voltage. I think we're good there and uh, you can see we're about 98.9 on the kilowatt meter and about 0.44 amps of current so we'll use those numbers for the calculation for the line dropping power resistor Okay guys, a quick look at the line dropping resistor calculations. Uh, you can see I'm using a line voltage 120. Each area will be slightly different of that, plus or minus. The target voltage again of uh, just under 99 volts, which we pulled off of the Variac, which provided 240 volts uh, DC on the B plus side. You can see that gives me just above a 21 volt drop. We can use uh, Ohm's Law, as you see in the bottom of the screen. We can square that number and we'll multiply it by itself and divide that by the resistor value that we calculated to come up with the uh, power requirements. You can see I plugged in the amp draw from the uh, kilowatt meter at point 0.44. Again, doing the uh, math calculations using Ohm's Law you can see that puts us best with a 48 ohm resistor. And going back down to the power, again, around 9.3 watts. You always need an overhead to uh, dissipate the heat and create less stress. Again, the physical mounting conditions, etc., will, you know, move that number north or south. And so, in my case, I'm only about times three, not the best solution for the resistor that I used. Again, I'm limited on space, so I'll revisit that later on. You can see the resistor requirements with the times 5 would be just under 50 watts. So I hope you found this helpful. I appreciate you guys following along with the uh, voltage divider videos that I just published in addition to this one, the line dropping resistor calculations. Everyone out there, uh, take care and stay well.